Today I'm going to review this 200 by 200 millimeter hot plate. This is available from Amazon for $64 shipped. It goes up to 400 degrees Celsius. It's auto controlled. You can it'll control the temperature yourself or itself. You just set the desired temperature in Celsius down here, and it'll regulate the plate temperature to that uh, temperature for you. So if you want to make your own surface mount PCB parts or PCB boards at home, all you really need is this hot plate your surface mount design and when you order your design from the board house you want to order a template or a stencil and the stencil is that actually for the surface mount components you'll overlay that on your PCB board and you'll um, use a, a, uh, a squeegee and you'll put solder paste you will use the stencil to apply the solder paste you'll pull it off you'll set the surface mount components in place on the board You'll get the hot plate to the temperature melting above the melting point of your solder paste. You put the components on, stick them in the solder paste. You'll set the board on the hot, hot plate, and the components will melt into place, and you're done. You don't have to hand solder all your components. So using this is super simple. There's two values on this readout right here. If I turn it on, there's PV and SV. So PV stands for present value, and S is SV is set point value. So if you want to change the set point value, we hit the set button up and down, changes the value, and the little arrow moves where you're setting the value. So if I want to set that to 165, I can just arrow up 165. I want to do the next digit. I want to change that to 7. I can arrow up. Hit the set, and it's done. And now this is going to show you what the current plate top value is, temperature, and it's going to hit the 175C. I'm going to turn that off. I don't want to get hot. So once it hits your set point value, you want to use tweezers or actually do what I do is put the board down and slide it in place very carefully with the tweezers and just keep an eye out and watch for the components to all melt and go into to place where, where you want them. And when they get there, Turn the power off and carefully remove the board and set it down on something else to cool. You don't want it to cool on the plate because the plate will take too long to cool and probably melt any parts that have plastic on them. So the other features of this, it takes a standard plug on the back, which I like. It's pretty simple. Not a lot to it. One thing you want to keep in mind is when you're not using this thing, definitely unplug it. This is one of those appliances that can be accidentally turned on. And if you accidentally turn this on by setting something in front of it and you're not paying attention, this could burn your house down. So this is a house under. So when you're not using it, unplug the thing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this thing in use. All right, we're at 160 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and put this board on here. I'm just going to kind of set it down and slide it in. You should be able to start watching these components move into place. Um, still getting warm. Yeah, it's starting to melt now. You can start to see things starting to turn to turn ten color. You'll watch when it gets hot enough. This this crooked di uh, diode. Yep, oh, there it goes. It just kind of moved by itself. This capacitor looks like it needs a little help. It's so hot. There we go. I think we're done. I think everything's straightened up and kind of, oh, this capacitor is not flying right. This one's kind of out of place too. There we go. On these capacitors and resistors, I kind of made a mistake and I used the hand solder uh, version of the footprint, which doesn't really give a lot of meat for the solder to sit on. 
But if you notice, the chips are perfect. It's just the, or I mean, the ICs are perfect. It's just the surface mount components here that are not liking the hand solder footprints because there's not enough solder. I could fix all these by hand with a soldering iron, but I don't want to. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't want to bump it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. I'm going to carefully slide this 